S Fond TV. S Fond. Look, I've known Jenna five years. How does she say S Fond? <laughs> Wait, why do they not have me on camera? This is a picture of me from like 2019 whenever I was on, it was like me, a Schlatt, Minx, a bunch of us were on the Raw show. <laughs> It's a screenshot from that stream. The best MMO RPG streamer. You know what? Is? It's probably because I was Ashton walking. I do. I was like actually walking around a lot. They probably couldn't find me. Same outfit. Wait. <laughs> Deserved. I won. I was like shaking hands already. Dude, she was so confused. Just look how confused she is. Good evening, Los Angeles! <laughs> the biggest, the biggest jackass in the world. Okay, so when I did this, <laughs> whenever I did this, I was like, I was talking about, I was like, I was like, okay, if Asmund wins, I'm, I'm gonna go take his award. So me and Asmund were talking about it beforehand. I go, dude, Asmund, if you win, and he's like, Asmund literally goes, please do it. He knows what I'm gonna tell him. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, yes. Me and Asmund were talking, Asmund literally goes, please do it. <laughs> as soon as I, if you win, he's like, please do it. I was like, yes, it'll be so funny if I could take it. <laughs> and I'm sitting there at the table and I'm talking to, to Miz and Squeaks and, and I'm like, okay, like if, if I'm gonna go do this thing, I have to come out and like full commit. It's at the beginning of the show, give no mention of Asmund Gold like at all. Like I have to completely disregard that he won and it has to be like really high energy. Just be like a complete jackass because it's at the beginning of the show. So it needs to like set the tone to like, cause you know what I mean? Like if, if a, sh a show will be entertaining, if like people, if, if people come out and, and they, they like have juice, then the juice is contagious. You know what I mean? You gotta bring the juice so everybody else can get juiced. That's how it works. The camera crew followed you walking up to the stage. Yeah, it was super funny. Well, you know what I think happened? I think they were confused. I'm assuming, right, I, I'm not a part of production, but like this is how typically it works. You have somebody running like a TriCaster, not a TriCaster, but like they're, they're running something to where they have like all the different camera POVs. And when they saw me stand up, they probably all just like looked at me and they were like, oh, well like th this guy won. So like clearly, cause I, if you have the confidence, then people are like, oh, surely this is it. So I go and I start shaking people and everybody else was just like, like Wubby goes in and just like, they just all, they all followed along with it. Austin, <laughs> it was so funny. Everybody else just played along, so I was like, oh, well, surely, surely this is the guy. <laughs> I just noticed something, the dude checking his paper and then looked at you, the staff. Wait, what, where? Oh, this guy. <laughs> some guy, some guy was like, wait a second. Is that that's so funny. <laughs> dude, he's like, dude, he like looks at me here. And he's like, wait a second. He goes, hold up. <laughs> That's so funny. Dude, I didn't notice this. She tells me to come that way and I just walked off the wrong way. <laughs> Later on in the show, I noticed everybody else was walking this way. <laughs> I just walked the opposite direction. S-Fan did not win. I would like to make that. Anyway, here's a video from Asmongold. Do you have the award? I have the award. Thank Do you want to go so get it? You guys want to see the award close up? So this is mine now. These are these are honestly a lot better than last year's. Last year's trophies were like 3D printed and they all like fell apart. Summit 1G. Scum. And Super TF. Wait, did you say scum instead of scum? 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 Super TF. Scum. <laughs> and the winner is... <laughs> Ace Hood! The winner is Ace Hood. Charming Joe! Oh, Wait, you can hear Bonnie yell Joe? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, you can hear Bonnie. This is the only time you'll ever ever hear Bonnie over anybody. The only time you'll ever hear Bonnie. <laughs> That's so funny. What the hell is a streamer award, man? <laughs>
No, I don't think so. Dude, it's crazy. Well, I was talking about generations of streamers. You had like Forson Soda, Wreckful. You, you, you had all these guys like six, seven years ago. This was around the time I was starting. Actually, before I started. Um, and they were doing like IRL and travel and, and, and all this stuff. But it's crazy how like people, like uh, they, their interests change. Years ago, those guys, they would go to everything. 2016, 2015, later on, they would go to everything and they would go IRL stream and they did that. But then at a certain point, I think you just get tired. I think people get jaded, which kind of sucks because it's still really good content, you know? COVID changed, yeah, I think COVID maybe had a, had a part in it to some degree. You know, the events changed a little bit. Their audience stopped showing up? Not at all. I don't think their audience stopped showing up at all. Because here's the thing, truthfully, I mean, you can be me, right? You can be me, and I go to any event, and, and I get recognized as much as anybody else, if not more. Now, that's because I'm six feet tall, 300 pounds, and I have, I have more hair than, than half the convention combined. Well, it depends. If I'm at BlizzCon, I have, I have more hair than the whole convention combined. But at, at most events, I got more hair than half the convention. Uh, so, so I stand out of a crowd. Like people are still gonna notice you and you also have a lot of people come up and they're like, hey, I don't watch your stream, but, and I'm like, yeah, I know you don't watch my stream. Okay, hey, hey, I, I've seen the numbers, okay? I, I know you don't watch my stream, but the, like people are still gonna come up and like you're still gonna have an audience of people there that are interested in seeing you, you know what I mean? Like I didn't know this, they, they said for, for me, I said that I would do a meet and greet. I said I would do a meet and greet at, uh, at the last TwitchCon, I agreed to it. And uh, I was kind of like worried. I was like, dude, nobody's gonna freaking show up to this thing. Right, like I, I didn't, I didn't talk about it. I didn't really advertise it or whatever that much beforehand. Um, like that was gonna show up, and then they told me that I was one of the one of the lines that they actually had to like. They literally had to stop letting people in. So then, whenever I tried to leave, I was getting camped. That like literally, I like they're camping me out the door. Like it's I, like I'm playing Starcraft. So are you through, saying like, that the streamer's energy is I, directly related to how much hair they have? <laughs> true evil go rack thanks for 32 months man like i'm trying i'm trying to get out and i i literally was the the whole time that i was my, my entire segment for my meet and greet it was longer than the entire segment of my meet and greet outside of the meet and greet area Just happy to be here in front of the room to get into everybody else's meet and greets so here's the real problem I think what happened is I walked out the main entrance and then everybody going to meet and greet everybody was like, oh shit, it's S-Van. So then there was like, so yeah, it was, yeah, I, I got I got camped hard. I am incredibly popular and I would like to make that clear to everybody that I'm really, really popular and good looking. My, my point is, is like, as far as like people's audience stop showing up, I don't think people's audience stop showing up. For, for some reason, their, their interests change and they just don't really want to do it anymore. You know, I think people's interests change and they just don't really want to do it anymore. I think that's weird. And, but at the same time, I wonder if that's going to happen to me. Cause I feel like I've been the same for years as far as, uh, wanting to do events and wanting to do IRL and wanting to do big things and having like aspiration. But what if, what if that changes someday? You know, what, what if I, what if I burn out and it's just GGs and I, and I don't want to go to events and I don't want to do IRL and I don't want to do like big interesting okay stuff. misk if we get it jesus christ <laughs> me and miz talked about this like we we're like dude we want and i've said this before on stream i want it to be 2018 again like i want i want 2018 vibes